This is not a good sign. All the horse chestnuts are feeling ragged. This is a disease that they've got and because of the drought of, I uh, can't remember if it was six to eight weeks of no rain or very little, and the water table is falling underground. All these horse chestnuts are suffering because they're weak from this disease. So hopefully the recent wet weather will uh, alleviate the disease that these horse chestnuts are feeling. Luckily, we've been planting replacements as the horse chestnuts die and fall because they are reaching the end of their lifetime. But this is my childhood, is a row of horse chestnuts. You can see that one's not very well. The next one is, this one's already disintegrating. You can see the branches have already fallen. So not a good sign at all. You can see the grass has grown back beautifully since the sheep were last in here. There's a lot of food for them. So I'm gonna be taking them off of the long acre and bringing them up here. But here you can see, here's the sick of the horse chestnut. And luckily fenced off this area uh, and have planted three beech trees. There were three horse chestnuts in here and they died in recent years. And I planted these uh, beech trees two years ago, I think, or they, I can't remember, but there, it might be more. It might be in 20, yeah, I can't remember if it was 2020 or 2021 that I planted these beech trees because if I planted baby horse chestnuts, to replace these horse chestnuts, they would just get the disease and die. So we have to plant a different species. I still want to plant other trees in and out of them, small trees like cherries and rowans and things, because then the microsial fungi underneath the ground, the trees of different species can feed each other and help each other and nurse each other. Excuse me, Inca, come back here, bring your baby. That's getting too close to the road, come on. Come on, come on, good girl. It's very long grass struggling for puppies. But I'm gonna release the sheep out in this field now. Ah, 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 Inca, come on, come on, come on. Atta girl, bring your baby along. Atta good boy. Isn't that right, Java? It's hard work in long grass, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'll pick you up and carry you. You're squeaking. You want to be carried. There we go. Yes. It's also better if I'm moving sheep to have him up off the ground. So there is the line of horse chestnuts. I'm up here. This is the oak tree that blew down in a storm a number of years ago. And in amongst these trees, I planted a baby horse chestnut that I grew. And you can see it's already got the disease that uh, its adult neighbors have. I'm hoping it'll survive because it's surrounded by a biodiversity of trees. It's got uh, alders, it's got, there's rowans, spindle. There's a baby oak tree right there. All of these uh, grown by seed from seed here. So there's more rowans, gilder rose, um, uh, what's that called? A rowan. And then down there is another oak tree. So I'm hoping as they grow, they will protect the baby horse chestnut. On the other side, again, there are oak trees and gilder rose and spindle, etc. over there. But the big trees are all um, uh, alders. No, you can't get in there. That's to keep the sheep from jumping. They were jumping over and I don't want them to eat the trees yet. The trees have to get some height on them first. So now I've got to go and get the sheep. As I'm walking, okay, there's nothing flying at the moment, but as I come up to here, because they're all escaping, 
butterflies are all flying up in the air, small ones and large ones. They might not come off, you might not see them very well in the um, video, but you can see as I walk and move, they're flittering up. There's lots of small ones, loads of small ones. Those are the important ones, all those small ones, because they are the ones that feed a lot of the wildlife. And the sheep, when they come out of the field and start moving across the grasses, the swallows in the sky will swoop down and feed. Look at that. Little bit is ready. You can see there's sheep on the long acre. There's, she's doing really well. Come on, girls! Come on! Come on! Oh, I've got to treat you for scald. You're a bit lame. Look at them all, loving this. Inca, come back here, leave them alone. They haven't been in this field now for six weeks, I think. They've been over in the great oak field, up in the orchard, and in this field and the long acre. And now there, there's Ebony. How are you doing, girl? Yeah, your butt looks much better. Got re hey, 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 Inca, leave them be. They're fine. Absolutely fine. Come on, girl. You're the last one to go. Atta girl. Come on. Ah, the girls. There we go. Everybody is off the long acre and into the middle field. And there's loads to munch. Absolutely loads. Got to close the bottom gate and then I'm going to let the horses out onto the long acre. But what I think is really, really cool is this here is an ant's nest. You can always tell the fine granular stuff that is the ant's nest. But what's really interesting is that the sheep will eat the mineral soil from an ant's nest because the ants, when they're excavating and creating the mound, I don't know if you can see, it's a mound that goes up and then down here. Yes, you're just like your mother, interested in insects. So it's a mound there and it, there's a mound there, and there's another one there. A lot of farms don't have ants' nests. Here's another one here. But the sheep, you can kind of see the sheep have, well, they've stood on it, but they've also cleared it and have eaten from it because of the high mineral content. I'm gonna go and close the bottom gate into this field because I don't want the horses to go in here. I only want them to graze the long acre. Uh, saves money on mowing, but it also, I'll come down with a shovel and throw the manure on either side to return organic matter that they've eaten back to the soil. And it's a cycle of fertility. So keeping the cycle of fertility is really important. That organic matter will now be decomposed by uh, all kinds of biology, insects, bacteria, microbial life, microbial life, all kinds of things to go back into the soil. And that's important to keep the biodiversity healthy. And the two boys are missing, They've, they had the girls right next to them 
and now they don't, so they're kind of sad. Two sad boys all on their own, but then again, it's not breeding season, so they're used to being on their own. All my dogs are staying up there because I don't like them coming down. Ah, bear, stay. Maya, stay. They generally now stay of their own volition. Well, Maya sometimes doesn't. She can be bold. But this little tyke is following me everywhere at the moment. So he doesn't have training yet, but he will over time. Maya, stay. Yeah, you're gonna stick close. Yeah, you good boy. Yes, good it's boy. really sad. These trees at the bottom gate are really, really bad. Look at that. Their leaves are almost completely brown, so they hardly will get any photosynthesis into their systems to feed them for storage of survival for the winter. This is not looking good. These are some of the tree diseases that are polluting our ecosystems now. It smells so delicious. The lime tree is in bloom. When it gets a little warmer, the tree will be humming with pollinators. It just, this time of year, mid-June. It's kind of humming, but it'll be humming even more as the sun comes out. It's been pouring rain. Okay. Let the horses out. Just opened this gate and she was about to jump out. You behave! You're not to jump out. This gate is too wide open because they won't get around the corner. So that way they'll be able to go around to get onto the long acre. Okay, get back. Go on, get back. Go on! Oh, bloody hell! Hey, 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 Inca, leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it, Brindle. Get out. Easy, 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 easy. No, no, easy. Easy, easy, Brindle, get back. Easy. There we go. Inca, no. Phew. That was quite the palava. They were more excited to get over than I thought. <laughs> Janie Mac, leave them be, come on. Crikey, that was exciting. Here's me with the puppy, terrified in my arms. <laughs> Cause me roaring and the horses leaping and the gates banging. <laughs> it's okay, puppers. This is just life on the farm. Isn't that right? It's very scary for tiny people. <laughs>